Hi there, I'm Aki from Aki Gaming, and welcome to another episode of My Wife or Husband Though is Better Than Yours. Each episode, we will be putting two heroes into the spotlight and see who reigns supreme over the other. First, they will be judged by all of their attributes, which includes their stats, weapons, skills, etc. Then, we will put them into a battle simulator to see who's the better one when head on. Not only that, we will be also giving them their best possible skill build and put them into the ultimate mass battle showdown to see who will be crowned the winner of My Wife or Husband Though is Better Than Yours. Let's not wait any longer and introduce our contestants. Standing on the left corner, the son of Eldigan, the inheritor of Mr. Tain, the Black Knight, Ares! And standing on the right corner, the Prince of Elis rides on our stalwart steed. The Knight Exalt, Chrome! And here we go, Mr. Tain vs. Falchion, Knight vs. Knight. Who is the better sword wielding horse riding husband though? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rumble? Round 1, Stats and Skills. Let's start with their base stats total. Ares has a BST of 157, and Chrome's BST is also 157. It's a draw. What about their HP? Ares has 40 HP, and Chrome has 41. Chrome takes the first point. Let's look at the base attack now. Ares attack is 36, and Chrome is 37. Chrome strikes again, 0-2. What about their speed? Who is the faster unit among the two? Ares has a speed of 30 and Chrome has 28. Ares finally scores. Now, let's look at the defense. Ares has 33 points in defense and Chrome has 34. Another point to Chrome. Last, their magic resistance. Ares has a resistance of 18 and Chrome has 17. Ares scores one back. After looking at their stats, Chrome is leading by only a point. It's still too early to tell who would win in the first round. Next, let's compare their weapon. Ares wields the Dark Mister Tain that has a might of 16. It accelerates special trigger, and if special trigger before or during combat, it grants a special cooldown count minus 2 after combat. What about Chrome? He wields the Seal Falchion that has a might of 16. It's effective against Dragon Foes and at the start of combat, if his HP is lesser than 100%, it grants him a plus 5 attack, speed, defense and resistance during combat. So, who has the better weapon? According to the rating system from Game 8, Dark Mr. Tain is rated the same as Seal Falchion. It's a draw for the weapons round. Moving on, they are special. Ares uses Draconic Aura that boosts attack by 30% with a cooldown of 3. As for Chrome, he has Eater, a special that treats foes, defense, resistance as if reduced by 50% during combat. Then, it restores HP equal to 50% of damage dealt and has a cooldown of 5. Who has the better special? Once again, by referring to Game 8, Draconic Aura is lower than Eater in terms of rating. Chrome gets another point. Now, they are passives. By the way, we won't be comparing slot C since Ares doesn't have it. But for your knowledge, we'll still introduce it. Chrome has Sword Valor in C, a passive that grants all Sword allies a SP times 2 as long as he's alive. Next, let's start comparing. First, with slot A. Ares has Brazen Attack Defense, a skill that grants the user a plus 7 attack and defense during combat if his HP is equal or lower than 80%. And Chrome on the other hand, has Fury that grants attack, speed, defense, resistance plus 3 but takes 6 damage after every combat. So, which A skill has the higher rating? Fury is better according to the link here. Another point to Chrome. Last, let's compare their passive in B. Ares has Seal Defense Resistance, a passive that inflicts a minus 5 attack and resistance on foe through their next action after combat. How about Chrome? He has Shield Defense. At the start of each turn, it inflicts a minus 7 defense on foes on the enemy team with the highest defense through his next action. Who will take the last point? 
and once again by referring to game 8, seal defense resistance is rated lower than shield defense. So the last point goes to Crow. And that concludes round 1. With a score of 2 against 6, the winner of first round goes to... Crow! A difference of 4 points in round 1. I honestly thought the scoreline would be much closer. Anyway, let's move on to round 2, Head on Fight. For this segment, I'm going to use the FEH Damage Calculator by Andrew Kratu. First, we are just going to let them browse with their default skills and IV with no buff. There's a change in format. Instead of looking at result for only one round, we will look at one full turn instead. And here's the result. Both Ares and Chrome get to take down their opponent in the returning phase while defending first. It's a draw for the default fight. Next, how about we give them some skill inheritance? If before somebody start questioning why they were not given their own weapon, because the build that we are going to use is optimized for higher kill counts instead. For Ares, we find Wardle Plus, Fury, Chill Defense, Even Speed Wave, Moonbow, and a Speed Seal. For Chrome, we find Slaying Edge, Fury, Chill Defense, Even Speed Wave, Bonfire, and a Speed Seal. And the result? Ares gets to KO Chrome, but Chrome cannot. The difference in 2 speed is the cause of his defeat. Hence, the skill inheritance fight goes to Ares. And with that, the winner of the second round goes to... The Black Knight! What are those thighs? Guess those thighs! Before we proceed to the final segment, let's look back at the results so far. Both Ares and Chrome has one win each, so whoever wins the last round will be crowned the winner of this episode. Who shall it be? Let's find out in Round 3, Mass Battle. For this segment, we will be using the same damage calculator as Round 2 to calculate how effective are they against all the other heroes. And the result will be in the form of percentage. Here's the formula. Instead of looking at the result for one full turn, we will now also consider the result of one round. And each category will be given a point for the winner, which makes it a total of 8 points. First, we will calculate the result with their default build. And here's the result for one round of initiation. It seems Chrome has a higher rate of 67.9% compared to Ares with 56.5. Next, let's look at the result for one full turn with initiation first and Chrome is still leading with 71.2%, about 17% more than Ares. Now, enemy face. Here's a result for one round of defense, and Chrome is still better than Ares with 49.6% winning rate over 43.5. Moving on to one turn of defense, and Ares is still behind of Chrome, hence Chrome gets another point. Now, let's look at the result after inheriting skills. Who would perform better this time? Here's a result for one round of initiation. Wow, impressive. Anyway, Ares aged past Chrome with a difference of 0.5%. What about one full turn of initiation? And Ares is still better with 96% over 95.2. What if enemy attack first? How different would the result be? For one round of defense... Ares did better when defending with a winning rate of 69.8 compared to Chrome with 67.7. Lastly, one full turn of combat with defending first. And very close, but Ares still leads with a difference of only 0.3%. So that's the end to round 3. With a score of 4 to 4, the last round ended in a tie. And ladies and gentlemen, after 3 rounds of intensive battle, we are pleased to announce the result of this episode. My wife or husband though is better than yours concluded in a draw! What a match! Especially in the final segment. Both of them did incredibly well despite not having that much of speed. And do take note that we didn't even look into giving them any cavalry buff. I'm not sure what you guys think about odd and even wave. I kind of feel like it's the best skill for this format. 
Anyway, even though the final result ended in a stalemate, but Ares is definitely the preferred choice among the two, with the simple reason of him being available at 4 star compared to Chrome which is locked at 5. By the time you get Night Chrome, you might already have plus 10 Ares sitting around. So what's your thought on the result? Who do you think should have been the better husband though? Let's discuss! If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and press on the notification icon to Aki Gaming for more interesting content like this. You could also leave a comment below to suggest who would you like to feature in a future episode. By the way, for those who likes the challenge, could you come out with a build that has a higher win rate than what I listed here? Do let me know. Here's the winning pair from last poll. Thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next episode of My Wife or Husband is Better Than Yours.